Ukraine just announced something big, a brand new laser weapon called Trizub. Vadim Sukarevsky, the commander of unmanned systems for the Ukrainian army, revealed this new tech at a defense meeting in Kiev. The name Trizub is a big deal in Ukraine. It's their national symbol, representing freedom, strength, and unity. This news has everyone in the defense world talking, wondering what this weapon can really do and how it might change the war. Ukraine says the Trizub can shoot down things flying high in the sky. Sukarevsky says it can hit aircraft more than two kilometers up, which is really far for a laser weapon. We don't have many details about how it was made, what it looks like, or even a picture of it yet. But this announcement has military experts and watchers around the world very curious. Because we don't know much, some people don't believe Ukraine's claims. But experts who know about laser weapons say it's possible. Patrick Senft, a researcher at Armament Research Services, thinks Ukraine might have combined regular welding lasers with existing military tech to make the Trizub. If this is real, the Trizub is a huge step forward for Ukraine's defense. It shows they're serious about using new technology to fight back against Russia. But until we see proof and learn more details, we won't know for sure how powerful the Trizub is or how much it will change things on the battlefield. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Now back to the show. If the Trizub is as good as Ukraine says, it could be a game changer. Experts say drones are a growing threat in war, and laser weapons like the Trizub are perfect for taking them down. Unlike regular weapons that shoot bullets or missiles, lasers hit their targets at the speed of light. This makes them great for hitting fast-moving drones. One thing lasers like the Trizub are good at is shooting down slow, low-flying drones, like the Shahed-136 Duran-2 drones Russia uses. These drones are cheap and there are lots of them, but they're easy to destroy with a laser because they're not very strong and fly in predictable patterns. A laser beam can burn important parts of these drones, making them fall out of the sky. Besides drones, the Trizub might be able to hit other things flying more than two kilometers away like helicopters and planes. Being able to shoot down things that far away would be a big advantage for Ukraine, protecting important buildings and areas from air attacks. But we don't know yet if lasers can take down faster, tougher aircraft. If the Trizub is real, it shows that laser weapons are becoming important in war. Countries all over the world are spending lots of money on laser weapons because they could change how wars are fought. The U.S. Navy, for example, already has a laser weapon on one of its ships called LAWS. It has shot down drones and small boats, proving that laser weapons can work in real life. Laser weapons like the Trizub sound amazing, but they're also very complicated. Making them work is hard. There are problems with making enough power, focusing the beam, and dealing with things in the air that get in the way. It's not easy to turn a cool idea into a real weapon that works in battle. One big problem is keeping the laser beam strong enough over long distances. As the beam travels through the air, it spreads out and gets weaker. This makes it less effective at hitting faraway targets. To fix this, laser weapons need special mirrors and lenses to keep the beam small and powerful. Another problem is all the heat lasers make. High-powered lasers get very hot, and that heat can damage the weapon if it's not cooled down. Good cooling systems are needed to keep the weapon from breaking. This is especially hard for weapons like the Trizub that need to be moved around because they need small, powerful cooling systems. The weather can also mess with lasers. Rain, fog, smoke, and even dust can scatter the laser beam, making it weaker and shorter. To fix this, Laser weapons need advanced targeting systems and special mirrors that can adjust to changes in the air. If Ukraine's Trizub laser weapon is real, it could be a big moment in the war and show how war is changing. Laser weapons aren't new, but better technology makes them more useful in battle now, and they could change how armies fight. If the Trizub is real, Ukraine is leading the way with this new technology, and that could shift the balance of power in the region. The Trizub is a sign that more armies will start using laser weapons. As technology gets better, we'll probably see more laser weapons because they have advantages over regular weapons. They hit at the speed of light, are very accurate, 
and can be used in different ways, from shooting down planes and drones to other military missions. More laser weapons also mean new questions about war and safety around the world. It's important for countries to talk to each other and make rules about using laser weapons so they don't cause accidents or bigger problems. The tri shows us that future wars will be fought with very advanced technology. Countries are building new weapons like laser weapons, super-fast missiles, and drones that fly themselves. This will change war in ways we've never seen before. Leaders, military commanders, and everyone around the world need to understand what these new weapons can do, what their limits are, and how they might be used. We need to talk about these things and use this new technology responsibly so we can deal with the changes and use them for good.